Chinivision returns with some Sega action. Yes, sorry, the Christmas break has been a little bit longer than expected. Uh, partly, well, mainly, actually totally, due to a house move. And when you've put your systems together over a period of 14 years, taking them apart and putting them back together again is a little bit difficult. And look how bare this all looks. But I'll be putting it back together in the coming weeks. So Chini is going to have a little bit of a different feel for the next few weeks because I'm not going to have all my systems out and available. So what I thought we'd do for this first episode after Christmas is to perhaps look at five Sega Master System games at random. I'm going to be doing this via the flash cart that Steve Green kindly gave me a couple of years ago. So we're going to boot it up on my Master System 1 and I'm just going to close my eyes, scroll around in the menus and see what we hit. It may be complete rubbish, it may be good stuff, it may be games I know, in which case I will try again. Or it may be games I don't know, in which case, let's give them a go. So where are we? Right, um, well, I've opened my eyes. I don't know what we're loading. So you'll know what it is already. I do not. Oh, hang on. Super Monaco Grand Prix? Yes, it is. You know, I've never played the Master System version, so I'm happy to have a look at this. And by the way, my studio isn't set up properly yet, so this is going to sound very different. Uh, much more like the original episodes of Chini Vision, in fact. Because I'm using one of the same mics. So I'm going to enter my name. So, Super Monaco Grand Prix, a first-person perspective racer. Very popular. Spectrum version, quite good. Although available on lots of systems. So, well, there's got two-player option, which is interesting to note. Because, does the arcade have a two-player option? Anyway, let's get racing in Brazil. Oh, it looks like Scale Electrics. Split screen. The arcade doesn't offer this, does it? Right, I'm top, I think. Yeah, I'm I'm 13th. I'm the red car. Speeding down the road. These slightly naff engine noises. Uh, because the... Not, oh, 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 skid, 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 skid. So you have to slow down significantly for the corners. It's like driving on ice. Come on, I'm still 13th. Oh, I can see myself in the bottom, though. Come on. Yeah, it feels... It reminds me very much of Scale Electrics with the circuit at the top. It's a, it's a kind of an adaption of Super Monaco Grand Prix, isn't it? It's not really um, Super Monaco Grand Prix as uh, we know it. Two-player action will be good, though. Head-to-head. -head. Around the corner. Still th I'm finding his handling... Uh, Pretty challenging, or is he going to overtake me? He said, oh, he hit the back of me. I bet if I hit the back of him, that'd be the end of the game. Yeah. Mm. I'm not feeling this in terms of... In terms of it being Super Monaco Grand Prix, I'm not really feeling this. As a head-to-head -head racer with your mate, it's probably fantastic. But I don't have anyone here to play against, so I can't really comment on that. Yeah, next game, please. All right, so through the menus again. No idea, no idea. I'm randomly hitting things like load and start. Is that Mortal Kombat I saw? That didn't come out on the Master System, did it? Um, well, did it? Oh, well, I'm going to hedge my bets here and say it probably did, because I think I saw Mortal Kombat on there. Come on, right, it was a big cartridge, it could be. Oh, 1993 Mortal Kombat, Acclaim Entertainment. If I get my probe software, oh, I want to see this. Okay. Yeah, probe development, blimey, okay. This is going to be interesting. What's it going to be, stick men beating each other? And there's an edit here, because this screen stays on forever. Right, so press start. We've got two buttons. Oh, digitised graphics. Okay. Well, obviously, I want to be Ray Den, just because it's the name one of the teachers at my school. Ray Den. Which we found hilarious. I've told that anecdote 3,000 times on this channel. That never stops me from telling any other anecdote, really, does it? There's my battle plan. 
Oh, yeah. Digitise for everyone. Okay, so it's going to be Raiden versus Sub-Zero. So getting the full digitised graphic experience and it's moving all right. This is the same year that Street Fighter 2 came out on the Spectrum. And ironically, I think, you know, in terms of the 8 bits, Mortal Kombat would probably work better on the Spectrum that, than Street Fighter 2 does because the sprites aren't as large. I might be talking rubbish there. I'm getting beaten up there. I have lost. Ray Den has lost. Let's try again. I mean, the advantage you've got with a console like this is you've got uh, lots of memory available on the cartridge itself, which the machine can directly access in terms of the storage. So all these digital sprites are stored on the cartridge. Oh, come on, come on. I can't tell you if there's moves missing or anything because I don't know enough about Mortal Kombat. I'm kicking sub zero. I've done it. There we go. That's alright. It's on the easiest setting, but you know. That's where most people would start. Do you know what? I reckon if you showed this to people, they wouldn't say it's the master system. I don't know what they would say it is. But it's... It's looking rather nice. It's... Okay, some things like the fonts give it away. Finish him. Yay! But it's... Yeah, it's a cut above, really, this stuff, isn't it? I'm, I'm not a fan of Mortal Kombat. But on the Mars system here, I'm kind of going, wow. This this is a thing. This is... I'm looking at digitised sprites beating each other up. Yeah, the frames of animation are somewhat lacking, but there's no lack of speed. Going to be Sonya. Better the devil you know. I'm so, so sorry. Yeah, Sonya's beaten me. Let's try that again. Incidentally, um, I'm noticing on every system I've plugged in so far, a little bit of noise on the picture, just kind of rolling bar of noise. And if you could see that, I apologise. I don't know what's causing it, whether it's a lighting in the new house or something in the, in the power. I'm going to have to investigate it. It's CPC does it as well. And it's uh, very peculiar. Just on the master system, it's slowly... Rolling up the screen. Beaten Sonya. I need to beat Sonya once more. Uh, dressed like a gladiator. A TV series that's just returned, of course. Why did, did anybody do a gladiator's computer game? There's a time. Finish her. Yay. No animation with lightning or anything. Because that should be there, shouldn't it? But I'm not complaining. Let's give Johnny Cage a go and then move on. Have I activated my special move yet? I don't think I have. No, you know what? I quite like this, and I think you might be pleased if if you got this on your master system, depending on how much it costs. But if find out it costs twice the much of a standard cartridge. But no, it's not a game I think I've played before, and I'm quite impressed. Okay. Ah, uh, it's Micro Machines. Again, I don't think I've played this on the Master System. In fact, now I knew it was available because I've looked at cartridges before, but I think they were a little bit more than I was prepared to pay, which is absolutely nothing, um, really, for Master System games. Because <laughs> you have five quid limit unless it's something special. Oh, um, okay. Master System. Oh, soundtrack's very Code Masters. Very Code Masters. So it's looking very similar so far. Graphics are... Well, it's all been developed on one system then ported to each machine, hasn't it? Wasn't there rumours of a C64 version of Micro Machines? I think there was. And the C64 would have handled that very well, I think. Let's see how see the master system handles this. Like qualifying, which is pointless. But hey-ho. I'm red. It, it, it's... You know what? Okay, I haven't played the other versions for ages, but immediately it's mass it's it's micro machines, it looks and feels like micro machines. So now I've got to set my races. I mean honestly, if it wasn't for the Plinky Plonk soundtrack and you showed screenshots of this so far, you'd have a hard time telling this apart from other versions. Okay, perhaps the um 
limited resolution. I bet there's a there's going to be a Game Gear version, isn't there? Almost certainly it's going to be the same. Oh, a bit of flickering on the sprites when we're all on the same area of the screen. Stops now. When we're horizontal and on the same lot area, yet the flickering begins. The score positioning flickers like mad for some reason. It handles like micro machines. Oh, 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 over the dinner mat. Around the corner. Graphics a bit crushed up. They seem a bit chunkier, but it's micro machines. It's got even the parallax uh, effect with the ground. Oh, I'm not doing very well. So I'm not doing very well on first. So it doesn't matter how much I come off the track. Oh, over the spilt crispies. I mean, these people really haven't cleaned their table up very well, have they? But the 64 could do this in less nice colours, but uh, yeah, I'm first. Oh, uh, yeah, I've qualified for the next round. I don't... I, do you have to fill the screen with cars? Right, desktop drop-off. That's the one with staplers and pencils and rulers and the jumps, I, th I think. Game I've been meaning to review properly for the channel on all different formats and never quite got round to. Incidentally, speaking about the weeks coming up... Ooh, the weeks coming up on Chinivision, it's going to be some kind of single format or small kind of uh, multi-format stuff until I get all the machines out and working. So bear with me. For this on, I am first... It's going to take a while to get everything back up and running, really. I've come first. That's good. This is great. This is great stuff. So, the soundtrack is so code masters. That it could just be... It's one of the in-house composers, isn't it? Or one of the people they use all the time. Right, okay. One more. Try one more track for a little bit. But I think we can say this is a solid gold classic already without even going further. It's, it's great. It's fantastic. You can hold this up against the other systems, and I bet if there is a Game Gear version, it's terrific on that as well. Another game. Game 4. Oh, what's another Codemaster's? Got no idea what it is, though. It's not a micro machine. I haven't loaded micro machines again, have I? Oh. Dino Basher starring Big Nose the Caveman. And that Co-Master soundtrack thing again. <laughs> it sounds like one of the, sound, the, the tracks on the AY versions of uh, Quick Snacks. At that mini screen there, right? What's going on here? Big Nose wants to catch a pterodactyl and cook him for his tea. Oh, Island. You're on Paradise Island. No, oh, Mars completed. Okay. Oh, it's like prehist prehistoric. Do I jump on baddies? Do I hit them with my... Uh, no, I don't jump on baddies. I thought by now, jumping on baddies is established as a way of killing enemies. I complained about this on Mr. Blobby, didn't I? Uh, it's another generic platformer, isn't it? Right to left. More polished than the one we saw earlier. Far more polished. Far better use of colours. Looks like a Master System game. I like lots of colours. And vibrant colours as well. No, 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 you can't do that. You so want to do that. Right, so I can throw rocks or... Co oh, what's that? That's the, um... The thing from Saber Wolf. But I've got no coconut stuff. I have to hit him with my stick, club, and it doesn't work. Yeah, can't feel I haven't played games like this a hundred times before. Well, I, I have boulders now, so I can throw. I can throw them. Throw the boulders! Oh, run away! Throw the boulders! Yay! Two, only two hits needed. Four did it on. Still very samey. Oh, another one! Another one! So two hits, three hits this time. Oh, it could be four hits. Oh, no. 
Oh, I did it with... Yeah, I need, I need him in my club in the end. Well done, big nose. Personal. Next level. Oh, I'm, right, done two miles. Two miles of six, presumably. Right, where do I go in here? Going to one of these things? That's let my level. Oh, it's Sid. If you see Sid, tell him. Right, so I can buy... I've got 15 bones. I can buy things like extra lives. Jump spells, a double club. He's telling me off for taking too long. Fast stoning seems like it might be useful. Nine bones left. There you go, get fast stoning. That helped me. Oh yeah, it's much faster. Okay, so you've got an upgrade element here. That's quite nice. It's polished. But it, it's it's uh, a game that's been done a million times. And and like this. Probably why Codemasters did it. They went, hey, what are the kids like? What sales? Caveman games. Next game. Uh, Daffy Duck. Oh, is this going to be another platformer? For our fifth game. I think I've, I haven't played this. But I think I've seen reviews of it. Is it a bit like Cool Spot? Probably on the same engine as Cool Spot. We're going to find out. Ooh, big game, though. He's writing a bit of data. Okay, got the Looney Tunes music. Okay, yeah, yeah, 1994. Probe! Okay, Daffy Duck in Hollywood. Press start. Start game, yep, yeah, okay. I'm thinking it's going to be like cool. What's what that? Desert Strike? What's this all about? Okay, Daffy Duck gets parachuted in. Okay. Well, it looks like a Daffy Duck game. It's quite like Cool Spot. Was Cool Spot also coded by Probe on the Mars system? Oh, I'm not up for another platformer today. Why can't we have something like Micro Machine? Something a bit more... Has a bit more pep and vim to it than another platformer. There's so many platformers like this at this time. Zool as well. Did Zool come out of the Master System? It probably did. And probably looks exactly like this. Oh, I've got something there. Oh, there's something on my head. Is that the baddie I've got to defeat? Have I turn him into a bubble? Uh, it's a dull platformer. So that's five games at random on the Sega Master System. Super Monaco Grand Prix. It's not really Super Monaco Grand Prix. Play it on another system. Mortal Kombat, you'd have been very pleased to have this on your Master System, if that's the system you had. Um, it's a very faithful and uh, playable conversion of the game that looks excellent. I'm sure aficionados will tell me there's moves missing and it's not quite right, but... As a casual gamer who doesn't really know his Mortal Kombat, I've picked this up and gone, yeah, this will do. This will do rather well, actually. Micro Machines, a very faithful conversion of the game we've all played on the Mega Drive, the Amiga, and all sorts of other systems. Um, Astonished, really. Codemasters have done so well. You can't have the four-player option with the breakout, but you're not really going to complain when they've squeezed this game onto the Mars system. Very impressed. Dino Basher with Big Nose the Caveman. Generic platformer. It's polished. Or more polished than the other platformers we've seen. But yeah. It, it's so, just so something and nothing. Daffy Duck. I, again, the Mars system suffers from this. Generic platformers. I can't see anything special here. It's selling on the name of Daffy Duck alone. The graphics are nice enough. But you can play so many better platformer games. And on a system that has Sonic... And a really good version of Sonic. You know, I, I don't, you know, underestimate how good the Master System version of Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 actually are. I love them. And when you've got that around, why on earth are you buying Daffy Duck or Big Nose? Hope you enjoyed that. As I say, Gini is going to be a bit different for a little while until I get all the systems back up and running. But I promise there is going to be something to watch here every Thursday again from now on. Thanks for watching.